Unit 4 Describing a Place Part 2 Grammar Unit 4 Describing a Place Part 2 Grammar Adjectives Adjectives describe nouns and pronouns. Adjectives tell what things or people look like, what kind they are, or how many of them there are. Adjectives answer the questions, what kind, which one, and how many. Let's take a look at the three kind of questions for adjectives. What kind? For example, the old car with the broken window. Which one? The fourth chapter of the book. His car. Or how many? Twelve students or a few students. Here are some of the things to know about adjectives. Number one. Adjectives always come in front of nouns, not after them. For example, twelve talented young musicians. Number two, adjectives can also follow linking verbs. For example, the verb be, the children are happy. Seem, you seem sad. Look, brides always look beautiful. Smell, the cookies smell delicious. Candy tastes sweet. Silk feels smooth. Be careful when a compound adjective containing a number comes from a noun. A six-foot wall, not a six-feet wall. A $5 bill, not a $5 bill. A two-year-old child, not a two-years-old child. When words such as foot, dollar, and year are nouns, they can be plural. The wall is six feet high. The book cost $5. And the child is two years old. Compound adjective. A compound adjective is two or more words that function together as one word. A compound adjective has a hyphen between its parts. For example, 10-week semester, and it, there's a hyphen between 10 and week. Part-time job and two-year-old child. Number four, adjectives are always singular. Never add S to an adjective. It's big feet, not big's feet. It's terrible memories, not terrible's memories. Number five. Nouns can be adjectives. For example, the English book, some tennis balls, a shoe store, and the Japanese students. Six, proper adjectives. Adjectives referring to nationalities, languages, geographic places, and so on are capitalized. Like Egyptian custom, Spanish class, the Cuban government, and Asian languages. Number seven, ING and ED words can be adjectives, such as swimming pool, cooking class, boring class, broken heart, bored students, sleeping baby, used car, and stolen money.